Welcome to the homework for Grade 2, Module 4. This is Lesson 1. Always get your name on there first. <clears throat> Complete each more or less statement. 1 more than 37 is 38. 1 less than 37 is 36. These are a lot easier if you just say them out loud when you do them. And it really it really matters. The difference between reading it and saying it out loud, it's, it's a noticeable difference. So really, try it. And I know a lot of kids, I'll say that to them, and they, they'll say they're saying it out loud, but they aren't. And it really, if you don't hear yourself, you don't hear your own voice saying it. And maybe it feels goofy to be all by yourself saying it, but it really does make it easier. 58 is 10 more than... 48 and now here we have something is oh well let's, let's do d b d and f first right 10 more than 37 is 47 10 less than 37 is 27 29 is one less than 30 all right now we're at g uh what is 10 less than 45 well 35 is 10 less than 30 than 45 and what's one what is one more than 38 39 is one more 49 is is it less or more than 50 it's less how much less it's one less and here we have 32 is it more or less than 22 it's more how much more? It's 10 more. Then we're looking at uh, completing patterns and writing rules. So here we're looking at 44, 45. It looks like it's going up by ones, 46, 47, and our rule is plus one. The next one down, we look at 44, and then we have 24, and then 4, so it's it's going down. We're subtracting here, so and what does it look like? We still have the 1s, they're, they're all 4, so it looks like it's going to be minus 10. So 44, 34, 24, 14, and 4. This one, C, looks like the numbers are getting larger, and... We still have 4s in the 1s place, so it's the 10s place that's changing, so it's got to be plus 10. So 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, it works. D, E, and F. Now we've got, in the middle, we've got 43 and 42, so it looks like it's going down. Uh, we're subtracting 1 at a time, so... 42, 1 less than 42 is 41, and then figure out what came first. You can kind of do this by looking at it backwards, right? Because if it's minus 1 to go that way, then it's plus 1 to go the other way. So you'll see what I mean. If I just read the numbers from the right end going from right to left, it's 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. And you see that trick will come in handy for a lot of these. Doing them backwards. So here we have 44 and 34. They're getting smaller by 10. So it's 44, 34, 24. And now since they're getting smaller going this way, they're going to be getting larger going that way. So that's 44, 54, 64. And if you look at it just to check it in the end, you'll see that they're all going down by 10. So 64, 54, 44, 34, 24. You're getting 10 less, 10 less, 10 less, 10 less, 10 less. Uh, this one, you have these two right next to each other, and it looks like they're from 38 to 37. You're subtracting 1. Starting with 41, this should be 40, and then 1 less is 39. Label each statement as true or false. Now, 
I'm just going to look at these two. Look at all of these here that say is the same as, is the same as, is the same as, is the same. That's those are that means equals. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to write the numbers and see if they turn out to be equal. One more than 36, that's 37. One less than 38 is 37, and 37 equals 37, so that's a true statement. 10 less than 47 is 37. One more than 35 is 36. 37 is not the same as 36, so it's false. 10 less than 89 is 79. 1 less than 90 is 89. 79 is not the same as 89, so it's false. And 10 more than 41 is 51. And 1 less than 43 is 42. 51 and 42 are not the same. So it's false. Those are puzzles, aren't they? But if you look at it, just, you know, see all the is the same as. If you look at it the way I did, write the write the uh, the standard or the number form for each of these phrases. And so just so you can look at it and compare them in the same form. And then you can just look at it and see it if they're the same. So it's don't try to do it all in your head at once. It's too hard to do it that way. Just write down, you know, do it one part at a time, and then it's a lot easier. Below is a chart of balloons at the county fair. So we've got red, yellow, and green balloons. And there's a lot of balloons. Using the following to com use the following to complete the chart and answer the question. So we have to complete the chart. And we have to answer the question. The fair has one more blue balloon, blue than red balloon. So one more blue than red. Red is 59, so one more would be 60. 10 fewer pink than yellow. Yellow is 61, 10 fewer is 51. Okay, are there more blue or pink balloons? Blue is 60, pink is 51. There are, and we could just even write a little equation here, 60 minus 51 is 9. There are 9 more blue balloons. Now, if one red balloon pops and 10 red balloons fly away, how many red balloons are left? Use the arrow way to show your work. All right, so the arrow way is a way to write down the mental steps that you do in your head so that you can show your work. So we start off with 59 red balloons. So if we start out with... 59 red balloons. The first thing that happens is one of them pops. So we're going to lose one of those right away. That's how you write the arrow way. We're subtracting one. And then subtracting that one got us to 58 balloons left. And then we lose 10 more because the 10 that fly away minus 10. 58 minus 10. 48 there are 48 red balloons left.